Tonight is October the 5th, 2017, and uh, I'm going to make a really short video tonight on a roll of 40-year-old, never-been-used coax. This is called RG9U. Here's what it came in. It was in this roll, 100% untouched, since you can read it if you, I don't know if you can see, guys can see it here, but it says March something 1978 right there by my thumb sometimes you can see it better in the video than I can actually see it here in the camera but this is from 1978 it's uh, also known as 8242 it's a hundred feet of it RG9U 51 ohm cable anyway there it is in the floor it's been rolled up in this thing since 1978 at least so we'll call it 40 years and I said well I have experience and I've heard other uh, people on the uh, on uh, YouTube say that some of this really high quality coax if it's new you know hasn't been abused in any way whatever it's still good and you know what I'm going to show you right here okay RG9 right here 8242 hopefully the camera's focusing on that really good Here's it, 100 megahertz, two, uh, 200, 400. I, I don't know what I got it set out right now. Let's put it on 200 megahertz. Should be about 3 dB. 200 megahertz. Okay, I got the, um, the signal generator set to 0 dBm, 200 megahertz. And we're looking for about 3 dBm, and there it is. I mean, it's. It tracks exactly on all the frequencies. I haven't tested it above 400 megahertz because I'm using um, PL259s. I like PL259s and the, the SO239 accompanying female, but uh, they're not really, you know, if, if we're going to split hairs, they're not really good above about 300 megahertz. But you can see it, it's just like it came out of the factory. I think it's okay. I think the idea that uh, some of this old uh, stuff that's been around and uh, you know been taking care of, been inside and everything is okay. Um, I was a little bit concerned that possibly the center conductor um, might have migrated through the um, the dielectric a little bit. Uh, it appears that it has not. What it is, is, is here's what it looks like. This is the only piece that's been cut off of it right here. RG9U is what they call it there. Um, here's the inner conductor. It's a real, it's a hard solid. It's pretty, it's pretty hard. It probably has hardened over the 40 years. And the, the center conductor is uh, silver plated. It comes out of the middle of it here, of course. And this is what goes around it first. It's silver and then on the outside jacket is copper. So uh, that's what, you know, and this is in the middle. Well, anyway, the only reason I'm making this is because uh, I don't run across never been touched 40-year-old uh, rolls of 100-foot coax. See, here's what it was even tied up with, the original string it was even tied with. I don't run across this stuff every day. I ended up with uh, lots of coax at different times or another from uh, White Sands, like RG9BU that would get swapped out, you know, just because it's time to swap it out. You don't want to, you don't want to jeopardize a, uh, you know, a million dollar missile shot for two or three hundred dollars worth of coax. But anyway, and this stuff, the stuff has always served me very well, and it looks like this is going to serve me well too. Now, this stuff is not rated for outside. That's the only thing that's kind of interesting about it. So I guess it was meant to be indoors or inside a trailer or inside a a ship or what or whatever who knows but anyway if you run across this stuff and you know you take a good look at it and uh, if it looks in good physical shape it looks like it's had, it has been uh, treated well over over the decades it seems to be perfectly good and you get it for pennies so there you go hope this helps a little bit got a lot of projects going on in here so I got a heck of a mess but uh, that's just a sensor right there that this is one end of the cable and uh, there's the other end of the cable right there. I had it all stretched out earlier, and I'm sure I'll get the exact same uh, results from it stretched out. So there you go. Hope this helps.